Today I want to share with you the two most successful picture making lessons of the past year when I was teaching 11 and 12 year olds both in class and online. What do I mean by successful? I guess we all hope our students will absorb the new skills and ideas they learn in such a way that these things become part of their personal creativity. And exactly that seemed to happen here when I observed that students applied what they had learned in these lessons long afterwards. They used their new skills across many art projects unprompted. The new skills became embedded in their personal creativity. What were these two lessons? The first was painting the background. Mostly in my painting classes, students get to choose which paints they will use – watercolour, tempera, acrylics or poster paints – and then I teach the relevant mix of skills as we go. The focus of this lesson was the value of painting the background first. Especially to avoid that often fiddly problem of trying to colour in around details when the background is added last. To avoid this problem, and to achieve brighter colours and figure ground contrast, I have been teaching students how to paint their background first, and to set the painting aside to let it dry, and only then to create the details of the main subject with wet on dry techniques. The other lesson was the rule of thirds. This topic is one of my top 10 photography tips taught as a warm-up activity. As we know, the rule of thirds is a useful rule of thumb for achieving natural looking or balanced compositions when the main subject and focal points are offset from the middle of the picture. The first practical step is to show how to activate the grid lines in their phone cameras. Many do not know this helpful feature. And then I challenge the students to create several photos using the rule of thirds method, either there in the class or in the hall or outside. Thus they gain and can discuss their mastery of the idea and the technique. It was a revelation to the students that most people, them included, unconsciously create centered compositions by default. Then students see new expressive possibilities opening up when they know how to decenter their subject and consciously balance all parts of the picture. It turned out that both of these lessons were revolutionary for my students, giving them a sense of achievement at mastering new skills and giving them greater confidence and flexibility in picture making. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. If you want to see more short videos with art tips, art lessons and art projects, please hit subscribe and the notification bell.